All right, I'm excited to tell you all about this new game that just came out uh, called Galencia. I heard about it on Rob O'Hara's Sprite Castle podcast, which is a terrific podcast you should listen to. And what it is is a Galaga-inspired video game for the Commodore 64. And right now it's only $4.99 for the digital download. And I've had it for a couple of days. It was initially available only as a PAL release. So that's why I was playing it in emulation. And it's a terrific game with very nicely polished and very fun. So just today they came out with a release that um, supports NTSC. Although it says NTSC is not supported, they just came out with a, a test version of the NTSC. So I'll be checking that out on my physical Commodore 64 with my Ultimate 2 Plus plugged in. So let's see what they say about Galencia on their website. It's a Galaga inspired shoot 'em up for PAL Commodore 64 computers, Earth 2017. We didn't listen to the warnings. We decided to ignore the decline of our B population and now their guardians have arrived. It says that in the game. You must pilot the 1981 Galencia fighter and restore order before it is too late. The features of the game, 50 action-packed levels, asteroid fields, challenging stages, boss battles, ebb and flow difficulty curve, Siren enemy with tractor beam for double ship action. Introduction, launch, and completion sequences. Six brand new SID tunes unique to this project. In the game you have the following options. Load, save, and reset high scores. Extensive CRT options including three levels of star field brightness. Three different score palettes. Tournament mode. Music and simulation sound effects or sound effects only. You control the game on joystick port 2, pressing F1 on the title screen for to get you to the options menu. The space bar pauses the current game, Q quits the current game. The physical version is to be announced in the next few weeks. From what I've read about this, they're going to have a cartridge version as well as a, a diskette version of this game. Uh, more, we'll have to stay tuned for that. It says Galencia has been tested and is supported on real hardware as well as the Vice Emulator. And this is the uh, development team. They did a great job. So let's go check out Galencia. I'll play a game in emulation and I'll point out some of the uh, differences between this and Galaga. This game is not trying to copy Galaga. It's, it's, you, it was inspired from Galaga, but it's doing its own thing with it. So let's check it out. So what you're looking at here is the load screen. Almost looks like a tape loader with all the lines going through. And then you have the pre-title screen with the little message that goes that scrolls across the bottom of the screen. This message can be skipped by pressing the fire button. Please support Galencia by buying it now on itch.io, itch.io, and don't let piracy kill the tiny C64 development community. Thank you. So when you first go into Galencia, you're presented with this little title screen, which allows you to push either fire to start the game or F1 to go into the options. Pressing F1, the first thing you can adjust is the star field brightness and you adjust that by pressing the fire button. In emulation the brightness is... I like it on the lowest setting so because sometimes those dots coming down look like bullets. 
I didn't seem to have that problem on the real hardware. Here you can also load your previous high scores or save if you had any new ones you can save them. You can turn on and off the game music and you can turn on and off the tournament mode. Now starting the game you, you, you're running along, uh, you're playing as Amy with, and you have the dog that's coming with you to get into your uh, Galencia battle cruiser. And that's something that you don't see in Galaga. And then look at the people waving goodbye. Now these little flies that are flying around, when they when when they flip upside down, they they look like flies. But then when they flip the opposite direction, they sort of look like uh, clowns flying around. And then the sirens are the ones that looks like a lady that they can actually pull you up, which is what's happening right here. So it pulls you up and captures your ship. And it looks like they're flying, and I, I really like the animation there. It really looks really good. It's mesmerizing, in fact. Now, when when you're being pulled into the tractor beam, you can no longer fire. That's another difference in, in this game versus Galaga. There's a lot of differences. Um, the, the screen looks like it's zoomed in as opposed uh, to being, you know, because of the screen resolution, it's zoomed in a little, so you have less uh, real estate to work with. Also, the bad guys or the flies, they don't go beyond the bottom of the screen, whereas in Galaga, they used to go down to the bottom and they could wrap around either back back from the bottom or come, come from the bottom to the top. And that doesn't happen in this game. I, I was expecting that to happen, but that doesn't happen in this game. There's a, there's a lot of uh, fun screens. I've only made it to the first challenging challenge screen. That, that's how hard the game is. I think if I play it more, uh, especially on the real hardware, I think I'll, I'll be able to get further. The game plays, to me, a little slower on emulation and maybe it's because it's PAL mode, I'm not sure. So here I'm switching it to tournament mode. Tournament mode is the same, it, it's, you only get one fighter. So you, you have to do whatever you can with one fighter and you don't get a bonus ship ever in the game. So that's tournament mode, you have to play your best. So one of the changes they made in the latest release of this software with the NTSC version and the PAL was uh, one of the, or some users I guess requested that the high score have a T next to it so that you could, so that it delineates that it's a championship high score. In reality, probably need not just a T, but maybe a, a championship high score listing versus a, a regular high score listing. Overall, this is a fantastic game. It's very well done, and I highly recommend it. And I will shut up now and let you enjoy the gameplay videos. Let's find Galencia on my multi-cart, the Ultimate 2 Plus, and it's down here. Mount the disc. So the instructions say you have to load a particular file to get the NTSC version running, and it's the GAL NTSC that you need to load. And I loaded the fast loader so it will load a little quicker. And let's run it.
So now on the high score, there's a T next to your tournament score, which, which was a fix on this NTSC version. And so, anyway, the gameplay is so much faster. The sound effects are a little different. Uh, the firing's faster. Everything's just a little better, uh, I think, on the real hardware. So, I really enjoyed it.